Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm happy to be bringing you guys a perfume I've known for about for a little while now, and it is the brand new perfume J Lust by Jennifer Lopez. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, and is the third flanker in the J series, I guess. Well, the J L series, I don't know. Anyway, front of the box says J Lust like this, J Lust by Jennifer Lopez, and it's got like that J Lo logo. And then it says Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer, 1.7 ounce, 50 milliliters, on like this snake skinny looking texture. Um, it's not actually textured, it's just thick, like printed. Um, and then it's got like a white band going around it with kind of breaking up the snake skin a little bit. Top's just more snake skin. The back has a promo picture of JLo on it, um, from what I know, a little bit different from anything we've ever seen, with the bottle J Lust on the bottom. Bottle looks like this. It um, The promo pictures made the bottle look frosted, and it's not really frosted, but it's more of like a opaque ish color. I'm, it's pink, but it's not like frosted. It's just like milky and see-through, kind of. I don't know. Top is clear on all three sides except for the back side which has the snake skin. So the notes for this one are um, a little bit different from what I've seen in a JLo perfume but I'm actually really enjoying the notes of this one. Um, so you got top notes of juicy mandarin, apple blossom, and strawberry. The middle notes are jasmine sandback, white peach, and vanilla orchid with base notes of feather musk, tallow balsam, um, tonka bean absolute. So I was actually, when I found out the notes for this, was super excited because it had strawberry in it. So I was like, yes, not very many perfumes have strawberry. So the top is very, like, the whole fragrance is very powdery. Um, the top is very slightly juicy, um, but not really, really juicy. You get a little bit of the mandarin and you get a little bit of the strawberry. But I definitely feel like the floral that's in that top, so the apple blossom, is kind of there, but I feel like this is just kind of a very full laurel fragrance to begin with. But I do get a little bit of the strawberry, not as much as I was hoping you would. And I get a little bit of the mandarin, but not super citrusy. So as it starts to dry down, I definitely get the jasmine sandback. I definitely get the vanilla orchid. It has a very full laurel heart. Um, I feel like the white peach just adds a little bit of juiciness to the fragrance and kind of ke helps keep it very light and powdery. Um, as it starts to dry down, though, I definitely get the musk um, and the uh, tonka bean absolute because it's not super vanilla in the base, but the tallow balsam definitely does help in making it kind of... Tallow balsam is kind of like amber, but it's more of like an amber and frankincense mix, so it's very kind of warm, and it kind of adds a little depth to the bottom of this fragrance, making it slightly warm, but not super, like overpowering, but it also helps add to the powderiness of this fragrance. I definitely, this is very much a powdery white floral fragrance, is how I feel about it. Um, the notes sound like it was going to be a little bit more juicy and a little more fruity than it really is, which I kind of like that it is, isn't what you would think with the notes, because I feel like people read a fragrance by the notes straight off and won't smell it, and I feel like this is definitely a little bit different from what the notes kind of put out there. I really do like this fragrance. Lasting power is probably about six hours on it. Um, I definitely would say this is like a daytime spring and summer scent. You could almost pull this into the fall, but it's very light and airy and powdery and soft. So I definitely think this is more of a spring summertime fragrance. Um, but this definitely is very sensual and sultry and a little bit different from the other two in this line. This is kind of the lighter, airier, floral, flirty cousin to J Love and J Lux or J Lux. So I definitely I do like this one. It's not my favorite out of the three. Um I think J Love is still my favorite out of the three because I really love J Love. So but I do like this one nonetheless. It's not my favorite Jennifer Lopez fragrance, but it's not my worst by any means. It's probably up there. Because I definitely really do like this fragrance and then the way it was formed. It's not my normally I wouldn't like white florals and powdery, but this something about this is seductive to me and I really like that. So 
there you guys go. There is my personal review of J Lust, the brand new fragrance by Jennifer Lopez. As always, guys, thanks so so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram among the stars perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, if you have any questions or anything you want, go ahead and comment down below and request future reviews. Thanks, guys. Bye.